the best way to treat auditory processing disorders. I'm Dr. Trish Lee. Let me tell you what that is. There is a methodology to be able to reduce and alleviate auditory processing disorders using neuroscience and technology. And I am thankfully on the forefront of being able to provide that service for people. It is called neurofeedback brain training. And I would like to tell you in this video very quickly how it works and how it can improve auditory processing disorders. First, I wanna share with you though, I began my career as a speech language pathologist and I graduated from the program that thankfully I studied under Dr. Jack Katz, who is known as the father of auditory processing disorders. So my, uh, my breadth and my depth of treating auditory processing disorders goes back a very long time, more than 25 years. So here I would like to share with you briefly how I think the very best way to address auditory processing disorders is. Okay, so first let me tell you what creates auditory processing disorders in the brain and in a person's brain performance pattern. We know from the science that when people, children have difficulty processing auditory information, it is because the areas of the brain that are in charge of that skill auditory processing are running slow. They're using too much slow brain processing speed. It is called theta. So theta is the speed that should send your brain off to sleep in the evening. If a child struggles with an auditory processing disorder, it's because their brain is using too much theta slow processing speed in the day when their brain has to process auditory information, not just using theta in the evening when the brain should be shifting into sleep. So that's what's at the root of auditory processing disorders. And it tends to be in the auditory processing areas of the brain here in the temporal regions of that child's brain. Sometimes it can extend out to Wernicke's area, which is the area for language comprehension, and Broca's area, which is the area for language production. And all of those areas have to work together seamlessly to be able to process auditory information and then be able to act on it, especially verbally. So when you have your QEEG brain map performed, and now we can do them at home. You perform it yourself and with our guidance, of course, and 28 minutes later, you can see your results and I can interpret them for you fully. So what you're looking for and what I'm looking for in the brain map is to see if the auditory processing areas and those language processing areas are using too much slow processing speed and it is impacting the person's ability to process auditory information. And that is what we will see in the brain. Once we see that in the brain performance pattern, then the number one way to treat an auditory processing disorder is to go to the root in the brain and to be able to use neuroscience and technology, neurofeedback, to teach the brain to make more optimal brain processing speed in the middle for calm focus, and that speed is called low beta. That is the speed that is just faster enough for perfect processing speed. And basically using neurofeedback, we teach the brain to make less theta and to make more beta. The way that neurofeedback does that is amazing, actually. People have asked me many, many times, is it magic? I'm like, no, it's not magic. It's neuroscience plus technology. And that's where we're at, thankfully, in our culture in today's day and age. But using our at-home, home brain, Neuro brain training neurofeedback program, you use a specialized app on your phone, you download it, and then you're able to watch YouTube videos and the video screen, it's specialized app, you can't just watch YouTube, but the specialized YouTube screen plays bright when your brain is in the zone, making more better processing speed. It goes dim if your brain starts using too much slow speed that causes the auditory processing difficulties. At the same time, the audio plays louder when your brain is in the zone and it goes lower when your brain starts making more slow processing speed. And basically over time, 
and our programs are usually between four and six months over time the brain learns to make less processing speed that's slow and more that's in the optimal ranges so in the end you've addressed the auditory processing disorder at the root in the brain and what has led me here is that after years and years and years of approaching auditory processing disorders from a traditional standpoint using speech language pathology services and audiological services that try to rewire the brain using your mind and your body and yes that works but it doesn't work as fast as rewiring your brain at the level of the brain so that is the best way to treat auditory processing disorders so that you can do it fast effective it's completely non-invasive it doesn't do anything to you and just to be clear it doesn't put anything into your brain it is a teaching modality it teaches your brain to perform better just like a traditional approach just faster and more effective right at the root of the problem in the brain okay hope that helps you understand if you have any thoughts or questions please reach out to me at trish at drtrishlee.com you can visit my website at dr trish lee for many of my at home online programs or at leebrainandspine.com for my private practice in chapel hill north carolina and remember control your brain or it'll control you